The Earth is pulsating every 26 seconds at the rate that coincides with the name of God. Isn't that astonishing? If you watched the video before this one, the scientists can't make heads or tails of why it's going on, but the Holy Bible tells us what's going on. Psalm 114, 7. Treble, O earth, at the presence of Hashem, meaning God, at the presence of the God of Yaakov. A few years ago, scientists discovered that the earth is pulsating, but they still don't know. It's a mystery. What is causing these micro seismic, seismic events? And they presented the mystery, but rabbis all recognized that the 26 second phenomenon is the earth dancing out praise for its creator. Microsisms every 26 seconds, pu second pulses of unknown origin. And uh, as the scientists were revisiting the mystery, first discovered in 1962 by researcher Jack Oliver, then at the Lamont Doherty Geological Observatory, and in the research paper published in Geoscience World, Oliver reported his observations of what he called microsisms, faint earth tremors caused by natural phenomena. The microsisms lasted for about 26, 27 seconds and a duration of about eight hours. They were detected by seismographs around the world and seemed to originate in the southern or equatorial Atlantic Ocean and that it was stronger in the northern hemisphere summer months but Oliver was puzzled, unable to determine what caused these micro earthquakes, suggesting they were generated by perhaps dispersed ocean waves striking the coast of the Gulf of Guinea, which was uh, between uh, uh, around Nigeria. The second hypothesis suggested that micro earthquakes were a form of harmonic tremor associated with magnetic, magmatic activity under the South Atlantic Ocean. And the mystery remained, and scientists ignored the micro until 1980, when Gary Holcomb, geologist with the U.S. Geological Survey, discovered they were stronger during storms, and it was studied once again in 2006 in Geophysical Research Letters, but the cause was still unknown. Some scientists believe that subtle seismic activity is constantly present as a result of the sun's effect on our planet. And in 2013, then graduate student Garrett Euler narrowed down the source of the pulse even more to a part of the Gulf of Guinea called the, Bright, the Bite of Bonnie, leading him to conjure the, the conjecture the source was indeed the result of oceanic waves hitting the coastline, if you could believe that. But in the same year, a team led by Ying Ji Xia from the Institute of Geodesy Geophysics in Wuhan, China, thinks that the source of the pulses was a volcano on the island of Sao Tome in the Bight of Bonny. And there's more questions that come out of this than answers. Both theories leave many questions and no answers. So there's no uh, dearth of volcanoes or beaches in the world. So why are the micro limited to that just one site? Why the intervals and why 26 seconds? In the glacier paced world, um, of geology, these are not urgent questions. There are certain things that we concentrate on in seismology. Doug Waynes from Washington University, St. Louis told Discover Magazine. We want to determine structure beneath the continents, things like that. This is just a bit outside of what we would typically study. Now, we, they still have, don't understand why this is going on. It remains a, a secret. 26, the name of God, Yahweh, despite scientists being perplexed by the phenomenon, Bible scholars hold the answer to at least one of the questions. The 26 second duration of the microseismic pulse is explained by the gematria, the Hebrew numerology of God's name, spelled out in the Hebrew letters Yod, He, Vav, He equals 26. Can you believe that? The three answers, faith, faith, and more faith. Rabbi Lazar Brody, an American-born Hasidic rabbi and teacher with a blog called 
laser beams saw the scientific discovery as just another source of belief. There are so many secrets, he says, places that we can discover Hashem. God literally means the name. Rabbi Brody said, I focus on simple faith, and science is just a different part of that. The more you get a muna, that is belief, the more you will see these things that confirm God's presence in the world. Nature's conservation with the Creator. Rabbi Shlomo Katz, spiritual leader of congregation Shirat David in Ephrat and the student of Rabbi Shlomo Karlbach was deeply inspired by this scientific discovery. He said, it's very consoling, Rabbi Katz said, and in these last stages before the final redemption, it's clearly important to be in tune, even literally with the planet. Being religious, being close to God in Hashem is much more than just what goes on in church or synagogue or what you read in a book. We need to be sensitive to the quest to nature to see how the entire world fits in God's plan. Science and nature have to be part of our conversation with God, he said. Rabbi Katz said God could have made the world in an infinite number of ways, but here we see that every detail is for his glory. Mountains dancing for the Creator. Rabbi Shol Judelman, former director of Ecology Beit Midrash, a religious study group focused on the environment as it is treated in classical Jewish sources, cited a biblical source for what he called the earth dancing for Hashem. What alarmed you, O sea, that you fled? Yarden, that you ran backward, mountains that you skipped like rams, hills like sheep, treble, O earth, at the presence of Hashem, at the presence of the God of Jacob. Psalms 114, 5-7. The sages were careful observers of nature, and that was where they discovered God. Rabbi Judelman said, they were very much in the world, and back then that was science, observing nature, trying to understand it. There was no conflict between faith and science, absolutely the opposite. They complemented each other, delving into the world, nature, and how it works, revealing more of God. But we have fallen into a space where we think we have to destroy science to protect faith or destroy faith to advance science. That isn't so, and in fact, we need both sides in order to grow and move towards faith. And this is on Israel 365 News by Adam Eliyahu Berkowitz. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support. I support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.